Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Sunday the 28th of January 2018. Thank you so much for joining me if it's your first visit welcome. If you are returning then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading I am using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Well firstly, thank you so much friends for all of your beautiful kind messages, your prayers and your hugs. I've really felt the love guys and I send it right back to each and every one of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> so I'm sorry I was away a little longer than I thought but hey ho, you know what it's like when you get overwhelmed and emotions kind of come in waves. And I like to be really connected when I do the videos and at my total best. So I am back. I'm feeling at my total best. And I am excited to see what the message is from Spirit for us for today. So what is the message for my wonderful friends? For Sunday, the 28th of January, 2018. What is the message from the Witch's Tarot? For Sunday, the 28th of January, 2018. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Have a selection here, friends. Okay. We have the Four of Wands, followed by the King of Pentacles, followed by the Three of Wands, followed by Major Arcana, the Shadow Side, and ending with Major Arcana, the Moon. Our first card, the wonderful Four of Wands. This is a real celebration. You are celebrating in the material world. You are celebrating your secure and stable life. You have created a structure, a, a real secure life for yourselves. We see the four wands, they are giving blossom. We have garlands of flowers and we have four maidens dancing almost as if they're dancing around the maypole. And you have their castle in the background showing their, their wealth in the material world. So this is you guys really being well on your way for the security the stability and the structure that you have been craving. And next, guys, we have the wonderful King of Pentacles. And kings collectively are air. So this is kind of an air and earth energy. With kings comes power and success accomplishment, responsibility and this king he really knows how to how to manifest wealth for himself, how to how to harvest his future here we see the king sitting in his really luxurious purple throne, showing his wealth, his grapes, his harvest in the background, and he's holding his, his pentacle. His feet are on real solid ground. This king is really earthy, really grounded. From that grounded position, he knows that he can manifest wealth and abundance and prosperity 
and he'd be really good with advice on how to do all of that guys on how to manifest okay so next we have another wonderful card another really good energy this is the three of wands this depiction guys we see the gentleman with his red cape on so this is showing you the wands this is the passion and he's holding one wand and he has his other ones are are behind him and he's looking over the water so he's looking where he's going, he's looking to the future. Water is emotions, emotions are your thoughts. And ones are, are their action, so he's really thinking about his actions, where he's going next, what he's going to be doing next. He's kind of created an expression of of what he wants and where he wants to be and where he sees himself but he's got to wait for his ship to come in to take him forward to move him forward to where he needs to be to get that fulfillment the synthesis that he's looking for this is kind of a divinity and fate card guys where You've started on your journey, but now you've got to wait for all the other pieces to come together before you can move forward. You're waiting for your ship to come in. You're really thinking. And next, guys, we have Major Arcana, the shadow side. This is... Well, it's the devil card, isn't it, basically? It's... Mm, it is you guys. Really, really thinking. This is the thinking, I feel, friends. This is, for some of you, you know that you are going to have to look at yourself and look at your negative side maybe there are things that you are doing things that you are saying that is causing a kind of a karmistic wheel for you and maybe this is now the time to to get off that karmistic wheel and to move yourself forward maybe you need to clean your act up maybe this it could be that someone else this is say the devil in the background the negative energy this could be other people and their power over you this really could be guys I feel facing your fears some of you are really starting to face your fears and you are thinking about how you are reacting how you react to people how you react to situations and maybe you need to change that the way that you react or maybe you just need to get away from from negative people from <laughs> from spiritual vampires who can completely suck you dry of, um, of your light <laughs> by impressing all of their negative energy onto you okay guys next we have another major arcana this is number 18 the moon this is a Pisces card this the devil card sorry guys the um, the shadow side this is Capricorn so this could pertain to Capricorns out there or maybe the person that has power over you is a Capricorn but next you get another major arcana number 20 karma and we do have a a full moon at the end of this month guys and full moons are 
like a big reveal and things will be revealed to you whether you want them to be or, or not. But illusions are shown through the veil. This is... For some of you, this is your development of your of your psychic powers, and that now you have awareness of spirit and your spiritual power, you can get yourself off that karmistic cycle. This is also the judgment card. And I said it was Pisces, didn't I, friends? And it isn't. It's the planet Pluto. But this is... You guys are really making a change for your future. This is about renewal. This is about reflecting on past events. This is you guys following a spiritual practice oh okay friends today we are celebrating we are celebrating our abundance and our prosperity and we are looking forward to the future knowing that at some point that ship is going to come in and take us away to where we need to be where we need to go but we are being called to really go deeper with our spiritual practice, to look at ourselves, how we react to situations, how, how we react to people, how people can have power over us, the, the spiritual vampires that can really take the light from you if you like. This is your time guys to reflect on past events, on I'm really making a change for your future. Okay, I think we'll have a Wisdom of the Oracle with Colette Baron Reed. Okay. So, what is it my friends need to know from the Wisdom of the Oracle for January the 28th? 2018. What is it my wonderful friends need to know? From the Wisdom of the Oracle. For Sunday, the 28th of January, 2018. Thank you. Oh, wow. Friends. It's quite clear to me on the table that everything is really going all in the right direction. You're celebrating. You are feeling abundant and prosperous. It is enabling you to look forward to the future, knowing your ship is going to come in. You are. You are, guys, are making a real positive change for your future. You are changing how you react. You are stopping people having power over you. You are making a positive a positive change for the future after reflecting on past events the oracle says you are on your way to treasure island this is abundance on its way to you guys it is all coming to you the cards say so this turtle has his chest full of treasure and he is on his way. He's full of abundance. Emotional abundance because it's depicted with water. Material abundance with the treasure and the treasure chest absolutely brimming over. It's a nine. It's a completion. It's an idealism. It's you guys. Reaching an ideal, reaching your dreams. Fabulous. Okay, my friends, I'm going to end that one there. Um, again, thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares. 
welcome new subscribers thank you for your support matt thank you for your wonderful comment and it is wonderful to know that the message from spirit is helping you so thank you all guys once again for your lovely comments and i really wish you all a joyful a peaceful and a blessed day and until tomorrow my friends goodbye